everyone in this video I'm going to share with you some tips of how you can record a short lesson and share it with your students later on that means they don't have to be online to watch the video the idea of recording a lesson came from the need that not all of my students have internet access at certain times and some of them don't even have uh, laptops available or smart devices. So when I record a lesson and send it, they could uh, watch the lesson and interact with the things that I have uh, asked them to perform and send them to me later on. By doing this step, which is very, very important in my opinion, students can catch up and especially the students who do not have access to uh, certain devices or don't have internet available at certain times or a specific time through an online lesson that is being uh, broadcasted live. But when they do have access later on, they could... Uh, you know, perform the tasks and, and feel a part of, you know, the learning process that has taken place throughout the day. Another advantage could obviously be that they ha they could watch the video more than once and that means that weaker learners or learners who need to process things in a slower pace could have accessibility more than once to the video and watch it as many times as they want uh, in order to understand certain topics or things that were uh, delivered throughout the lesson. Okay, and now the steps to record your lesson. You click on new meeting here, then your Zoom meeting starts, but remember it's only you, you don't have any students at the moment, you're just recording a lesson. You have the option of start video where you could be seen and your students would see you, but I, I don't, don't choose this basically because my focus is rather on the uh, textbooks or things that I would like to share with my students. So next thing that you need to know is that you need to start recording your lesson. Now there are a few things that I need to talk about before starting to record your lesson. Make sure you have everything you wish to share in your lesson prepared ahead of time. That means if you are going to be using a YouTube video, a website, a textbook, uh, scan the pages. Um, if you're going to be using uh, a short video you have prepared, anything you are considering to use in your lesson, it needs to be prepared ahead of time and opened and have them uh, ready before you start with your lesson. So once you click on record, you are basically recording your lesson. The next thing you need to do is you need to start the steps of your lesson. So you click on share and you have the option of sharing things that you have got ready for your lesson. As you can see, once I click on share, I have the option of sharing content within a Zoom meeting or in this case, a recording of the lesson. So wh when I click on share, you are given various options of things that you want to share, such as, for example, your a full desktop or um, an individual application you have open on your computer, or you could also access advanced sharing options and the ability to share an individual file from a specific location as well if you are planning to share content that contains audio such as a YouTube video or anything else it's very important that you need to make sure you click on or select share computer sound uh, in the bottom left hand corner to ensure that your participants can hear your computer sound as you're sharing when you're ready to select share on the right hand side here is a video I shared with my students while recording a lesson and I selected the option of share a screen audio in order for my students to hear the video Did that I chose to share. No. Once you have no, finalized and finished recording your lesson, you click on stop and you, or you stop recording your video. Our video is automatically saved once you click on end meeting. And this small box which says convert meeting recording will appear on your screen. 
when you finish recording your lesson, you go to recorded here, as you can see on the screen. And then if you click on open, you would get to the place where your recorded lesson is located in and you could send it as an MP4 file or you could just copy the link above um, and share it with your students. And when you share the copied link, your students can access the meeting that you have recorded or the Zoom lesson that you have recorded and watch it whenever uh, but they have uh, accessibility to internet or they have a computer in front of them. I really hope that this short video helped and especially if your students don't have online access at certain times, it would really, really be worth giving it a try. So all the best and thank you for watching.